Howdy sketchies, it's Megan of Hello North and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I have just chatted and you guys watch me do a process video. And so it's just been so crazy the past couple of months. I mean, December happened and it, you know, that's the end of the year. And for a lot of um, companies and whatnot, that's when you try and get everything done <laughs> before the end of the year. And um, I work a couple different jobs, I guess you could say full time. I mean, they're not part time, they're closer to full time. And um, then I'm a mom, so there's no time, no time in the day. And it's been such a long time since I've done more than one video a week and just been able to just chat and talk with you guys. So thankfully a lot of things has really slowed down now that it is the beginning of the year again. I really want to get back into doing more than one video a week and I even, I really want to look into streaming um, when I'm working like on Saturdays when it's just my personal work. Um, and right now I'm kind of researching into what I need to do to either stream on YouTube or go over to Twitch. I do have a Twitch account, but I've, I don't really have a camera that I don't think will work with Twitch, which I think is kind of bleh. Um, I don't want to have to buy a new camera just to stream on Twitch. So I'm looking more into YouTube and it's just, it's been really crazy, but now everything is just, it's a little bit more laid back and I kind of, I can do two or three hours of videotaping and doing a illustration, which it's, it's really nice. It's calming that I'm not constantly all over the place. So a couple of things that I, I really wanted to talk about was, um, since I want to do more than one video a week, I am working on a whole tutorial series. It's been in the works for a while, just because A, I, there's so many different things that you can teach in art. I mean, it's it's practically, like, it's endless. There's not, there, there's just no way that somebody could cover everything. And it's kind of um, daunting, like, where do you start? And so I've been talking with a few people on different social media um, outlets to see kind of what they would like to see from a tutorial. And I kind of have some ideas and I can flesh them out now a little bit more. And so I'm working on that. I'm going to try and just film a whole bunch of them at a, one time. So that way it's easier to edit and it's easier to find time to film them. But I... If there's something specific that you would love to see a tutorial on, I mean, even if it's like something like so pinpointed, like I want to learn how to draw Naruto from the anime Naruto, please give me a comment down below. I love teaching and sharing um, my experience doing art and my my wisdom. I'm not saying that I am like a master in any shape or form, but it's just. That's, to me, if you if you know something and you have experience or wisdom, it, it's almost like a, a, a requirement to pass it on. You know, like, with great power comes great responsibility. If you have knowledge, then I am one of those people that you pass it on. And I, I just, I, I love being able to teach somebody something. And in, in that, it helps me learn new things. So if there's something that you would like to see, I've already got a couple ideas like doing um, hair and watercolor and markers, outlining, you know, the basics. Um, and then kind of going more into almost like opinions on like how to buy blah, 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 or how to take care of um, different items like tips and tricks and things that I have learned and picked up. So, if you are a huge comic fan, you probably know who I have been drawing and watercoloring at this point. Um, 
I'm not a huge Power Girl fan, but I do like her design and her costume, especially her newer costume. Um, and I had just learned how to really kind of make the most of my brand new watercolor palette, which I hope to do more of, not really a review because it has been reviewed to death by other YouTube artists, but um, just some things that I learned, um, some tips and tricks while using this palette. Um, I kind of figured out how to make better skin tones using it, and so I had to test it out, and Power Girl just seemed like a fun little sketch that I could um, expand on using watercolors, and I really, I really enjoyed it. This took me about three and a half hours to draw um, from start to watercoloring all the way through and then inking. So, I mean, it takes a little bit to, to do a piece and then finish it all up. But I think she came out cute. I really like her. I mean, a lot of people think she's just kind of a dumb blonde, but I really enjoy her character design. So I wanted to ask you guys' opinion for those who, you know, like to leave an opinion. Um, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I do Art Snacks unboxing and reviewing. I'm not sponsored by Art Snacks. FYI, I buy them myself. I give an honest opinion. And a lot of the products I continue using because I just absolutely love them. And then some products I never touch again after the challenge. And I mean, I don't do anything massively crazy with the products. Um, so, I mean, most of them, they've been used, like, for maybe five seconds, maybe a couple minutes, and 99% of the product is still there. Um, I have almost, I want to say $40 worth of art supplies that are just kind of, they're different markers, some are paints, I mean, they're kind of all over the place, and I have no clue what to do with them. Um, here where I live, they don't really take art donations at a lot of places and if they do they're very specific on what they will take and a lot of the stuff that I have is kind of uh, weird and out there so they won't take it and I have no clue what to do with it um, for a while there I thought about maybe like getting a ton of it and doing a giveaway so for those of you who have great ideas, I'm kind of a little bit um, short on great ideas for what to do with all of these supplies that I have that have very rarely been used. Um, I kind of want to do something with them. Um, so if you have any ideas, whether that is doing a giveaway, doing a contest, do if you know of a place that will take pretty much anything, um, for art supplies, whether that's for students or a school or something. Um, not a person, I'm not just gonna like give them out to a person and be like, hey, here, donated. But if you know of a place that would love them, um, leave a comment down below or if you want me to do a giveaway with them. Um, if I do do a giveaway, it'll probably be when I hit 100 subscribers just because I'm so close. So, um, Leave me a comment. I would love to see what you guys think. On that note, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and become a sketchy. Hit that bell to get notifications when I do post new videos. And until next time, keep on sketching, guys.